Virgin Media Shorts, championing undiscovered talent. We're here on the red carpet at the Virgin Media Shorts Awards with Oliver Lee. Hi. Hi, you're right. Yeah, really well. Now you won the lucky 13th place on the shortlist yeah. after a public vote. Yeah. What was it about Jetpack Jack which had mass appeal, do you think? I think with it being based around children and I, I just think I just think it hit home a little bit. I just think it's quite cute, but it is quite bittersweet as well. So I think it kind of just sort of like hit something with people maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. Well, you've done really well to get to the shortlist. Um, most of the other finalists work really hard to make their films to two minutes, 20 seconds. Yep. Yours is just over a minute from the time limit. How brutal was it to edit? Well, I got told off a uh, producer I work with that when you're editing, pretend you've set your rushes on fire okay. and only save what you need. And I did, and I kind of think it could have been slightly longer now, but it tells everything I want it to, so, you know, it is what it is. Okay. And you said that the budget for the film was snacks for the cast. Yeah. Well, those, those superhero costumes kind of come cheap, right? Well, is it simple, it's well executed and an inexpensive film? Is that the best way for new filmmakers? It's the only kind of way I know how to do right now. I think I'd really panic if someone like gave me some money. I think I'd re that'd be a real learning curve. Because right now it's me, my mates, we make the costumes. All my friends are actors because I'm an actor. So. We work well that way, um, but I'm willing to have some money if someone wants to give me some. Yeah, if someone's going to give you some money, yeah. that's always a good thing, right? Um, does your experience as a television and film actor help you when um, you're on the other side of the camera? Yeah, because I'm not technical, you know, and I'm happy to say that. Like, I don't know cameras and I don't know lenses, but I know how to talk to an actor because I, I do that every day, like, at work and stuff. So, I, for me, it's about getting the story right, and Simon, who's my DOP, he just sort of helps me along and sort of goes, right, this is, if this is what you're after, I can do that for you. And it seems to work. That's brilliant to have someone like that on, on your team. Um, now, you're a father. Did yeah. that influence your decision to make a film about what's happening in a young boy's mind? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of about me in a sense I was a daydreamer and still am. So I'd often fantasise about being like James Bond or what it'd be like to be a superhero. But what's going on in in her mind is a huge sort of thing for me right now she's almost three you know she's my main focus so it's it I, I couldn't do anything but a story about a child I think I think it was right to do that because it's what I've been thinking about a lot it kind of changes the way that you see the world as well yeah I'm a completely different person like for good for a good thing you know and um a huge you know it was a huge inspiration to sort of watch how she is because you have to learn how to be around a child and learn you know you know how they can interpret things and try and try and work out what they're thinking and that's kind of, that's exactly what this is about and finally what are you going to do with the prize money if you win we've got loads of stuff that we can't afford to make just because you know we want to go bigger and better um you know a couple of 20 minute shorts you know a couple of features i, I we would just like the opportunity to show what we could do like so you know It'd be a godsend. With, with, like, with the prize money here, we could probably do a trilogy like on our budgets. Do it. I love it. That's brilliant. We'll well, best of luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Virgin Media Shorts. Championing undiscovered talent.